So this is part of the bridge that's gonna, that if you follow it, it takes you over the uh, James River. And uh, I just wanted to stop here. This is kind of an intersection. Point of honor is this way if you were going. And then uh, part of Lynchburg, you know, they've been on this, this revitalization project for downtown for quite some years. And they're doing a pretty good job. I mean, like this right here didn't exist from, or maybe it was an old warehouse, I think. I don't remember. But this is all apartments. And so there's a lot of people living around here. And I noticed the other day when I was walking, I didn't, wasn't taking video, is right back in there, there's an old warehouse that we used to work in, uh, me and my friends, and we would bag clothes for charity. Uh, of course, we were getting paid and uh, we did a terrible job. You were supposed to put four or five wraps around those clothes because we were bundling them and uh, we, would, we would do three because I think we were getting paid by the bundle. We were such idiots back then. But uh, anyway, that's now uh, uh, apartments, which is pretty cool. Because uh, I saw people coming out. I was like, what the heck? Are people coming out of that warehouse, so they've turned it into apartments. Uh, so we'll continue on. Let's get a look off of the bridge here. This is pretty cool. Uh, oh, no, this bridge. Yeah, that's the one goes across. So we're coming up. <clears throat> All right, isn't this cool? Now, over here, uh, well, across this way, that's old Griffin Pike. There is still some industry left uh, here in Lynchburg. Uh, most of it all is you know, where my grandfather worked in the shoe factory. That's all shut down. And, uh, and uh, all the, a lot of abandoned buildings, but let's get a look at this side right here. Uh, isn't that beautiful? So, you know, it's a nice treasure that they put this trail in. Like I said, I, I'm, it's unfortunate that they're cutting down because that was one of the big attractions for Lynchburg is we have a natural area that goes right through the center of the city Kind of, you know, like Central Park almost, you know, except it, and, uh, and now they're turning it into, I guess, developing the, into houses. Um, so, but here you can see the industry still going. The railroad track goes right through here. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you follow the news, but right on this railroad track, down this way, we're gonna go down that way, is where the uh, train crashed and turned over and uh, set, <laughs> set downtown Lynchburg on fire. Uh, I don't think any buildings burned down. I don't know that for sure, but it was a hell of a, hell of a train wreck. It's not too long ago. Uh, there's kind of a view going down that way. You can see coming across. And uh, so it's still operational. There you go. So here's the Lynchburg Fountain in the James River. <laughs> I don't know the, the history behind that. But uh, it, whatever, I mean, it's, uh, you can't really see it that well, I guess, if you get over on the bridge over there. But let's get another view of downtown. Now, this is cool. This is a real nice restaurant right here. I, you know, one of the things that you notice, see, look here. Here in these, uh, you know, I went through Tennessee, and I'm telling you, it was wide open. Nobody had a mask on nowhere. You know, as I'm traveling, it's just interesting. Lynchburg is the first place that I see people wearing masks outside. Um, I haven't seen anybody wear a mask outside, but there's a lot. I'd say about half the people here actually wear a mask outside. I don't think they understand that the virus is killed by the UV light. Uh, I'm not concerned being out here. I certainly don't have a mask on, but uh, anyway, I'm not, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying, you know, whatever to each his own. But uh, we're going to continue on down this way, running out of battery. So I don't know how much video I can get, but I think the train derailed uh, somewhere down there. Anyway, bye. So now you know I love to get pictures of weird stuff. So I'm just riding along down here by the railroad track. And there's an ice machine right there. <laughs> why, is there why is there an ice machine right there? So the, the bike trail kind of goes this way, you know, and, and then it goes that way. And if you just kind of swing around, you can see there's the water dog. And, you know, more of downtown, just kind of a park right here for walking. Guy over here walking his dogs. So what a... What's the ice machine to? <laughs> I just love shit like this. All right, so just another view of downtown Lynchburg, just kind of looking at it. Let's keep going. So Virginia is for lovers. I think that's the theme song for the state here. Uh, we're getting ready to get out on the bridge. This used to be a railroad bridge. Just swinging around to give you another view of downtown. Had a quick, uh, quick story. Uh, anyway, you see that hill right there? Now there's a couple of streets off further up in the city. And my buddy Scott, man, we were in his car at Mustang back in the day, and uh, he decided he was going to do 100 miles an hour down this, down one of these hills, and then we hit the bottom, you know, and then we raced up the hill on the other side, and we're, you know, because 
we were egging him on at first but then we were shouting no 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 man no slow down and he just kept it floored and the next thing you knew the car was airborne i mean we we came to the top of the hill because what it does is it goes to the top of the hill levels out and then goes down a hill on the other side and uh i remember being up against the roof because of course we didn't wear seat belts back then and uh <laughs> looking down we jumped the car we went right over the hood of a car it's a true story i swear to goodness and uh we went right over top and i was looking down at the driver i imagine he was just petrified his this car just kind of flew up in the air and came over top now what happened was because you know that car wasn't weighted you know it's not like in the movies because what does that engine's too heavy and that car just nose dived even though we were going down the hill on the other side which was good we hit hard man it flattened that oil pan like a pancake and i uh, you know jared of course you know i'm up on the roof i think i might end up in the front seat and <laughs> You know, we didn't wreck though. He actually drove that car home. But let's get out on the bridge. All right, another story. I'm sorry, I got so many stories. Here we go. This is where that GoPro would come in handy. <laughs> Me driving with one hand is not a good idea, but I just wanted to kind of show you what it's like riding here on the island. Isn't that beautiful? With the leaves falling, and uh, you know, you just kind of riding along. I love the fact that they let the canopy come in over top of the trail. You know, so many of these bike trails you know that i do they cut it back too far and so you can't get out of the sunlight you know here it just and it does make it beautiful with the trees kind of hanging over the trail i i appreciate that we're going to be coming up on the bridge here soon you know i'm trying not to take too much video but i just kind of wanted to get show you what this looks like you know on the fall day and boy i hope the weather i hope i get this weather on the way back to florida man i might I might be two, three weeks up in the mountains if I get weather like this. All right, that's good enough. So here you go. Here's a view from this bridge. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, I can't see the fountain from here. But uh, this is the other fork of the James coming around. There's the island. See, we just came across that island. And this is a look down the, uh, the bridge as we're coming in. And then let's get over here to the other side. You can hear the, there's a train going by right now. You can, you can hear it. And look down. Isn't that beautiful? That's awesome. Kind of makes me scared to have a phone <laughs> Boy, if i drop this phone i'm gonna be hating life i'll tell you that but uh let's check it out all right so we're heading on this way i'm gonna make another video right up here because i got to talk about something here in just a second anyway we just came across the uh james river and there's there's the bridge isn't that beautiful there's a little viewing area right back here but there were too many people on it and i don't want to make them uncomfortable and uh we'll try to hit that on the way back assuming i have any battery left on this phone and uh, here's, the, here's the river, James River. And that beautiful? Just kind of a view from right here. Now we're on Percival Island, we're going this way. And uh, it just kind of goes across the island. And then on the other side of the island, uh, you cross over another section of the river because um, it does fork uh, around the island uh, on this side. You can kind of see it right there. And uh, anyway, this is a real, well, it's a beautiful trail, I tell you. I love it, I love it, I love it. There's some mountain bike mountain biking you can get off trail and just go back into the woods i'm not going to do it because it's been raining and probably be muddy back in there all right let's continue on along now we're just barely across the river and this is a beautiful piece of land somebody owns this this is actually private property you know but it'd be cool if lynchburg kind of used eminent domain when the ever came up for sale and could put a campground here wouldn't that be nice and you can have rv camping maybe some tent camping right in there you know but i understand it's private property and you know, you see he's got his trailer back there. And a lot of times there's people down there having fun. And if you swing over to this side, I mean, what a what a great campground that'd be right down in there. So just kind of wanted to show you that. I can't get off the trail, but we'll look we'll look down. Got a couple of people coming up and uh, we'll get one more video on up. And then I got to cut the phone off so that I have some battery. Hopefully we'll get uh, maybe Hollinsville Dam and some other sites and camper station. But that's a long ways away. All right. All right, I'm trying that one hand thing again. Where are you at, GoPro? Only $300. Kind of a view of riding along by the river. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can kind of see it. We're coming up the trail here. Maybe we'll get some views. That's, you know, whoever owns that property down there, isn't that beautiful? All right, just wanted to kind of show you as we move along, moving along. So anyway, I just kind of hiked down in here. Pretty sure I'm on private property. <laughs> But I'm looking at that. Isn't, it, isn't that weird? What is that right there? You know, it's on this guy's property. And then across the river, you can kind of see the 
the train. I'm trying to, there we go, let's zoom it back. And uh, boy, you know, once again, just all along there, it just, just looks like this. Really beautiful, like, it was a really good rock. Uh, you can kind of, oh, there you go, here you go. Kind of looking down on the train. Like I said, Lynchburg, man, this was a real hub back in the day with the trains, and still is to a certain extent. And then uh, you can see the hill off in the distance there. Isn't that beautiful? I'm trying not to go too fast. I learned, uh, you know, as I, as I go, I, I realized when I was doing the parkway that I was going too fast with the phone. And uh, and that gets blurry in the video. So, but uh, another thing, you know, if you ever come to Lynchburg, now here's a guy. But this section of the bike trail is across the river in Amherst County, I think it is. Uh, Madison Heights is right over here, right over there. And, uh, boy, this is, if you want to kind of get out by yourself, not many people travel this portion of the trail. Uh, it probably won't take any more video because this just kind of looks like this the whole way. And, and that's where we came from down that way. All right, let's keep going. So I'm at the end of the trail. Now, this is new. Uh, this whole little block here wasn't here years ago, last time I came up here. And I've walked all the way back in there. I, I, in all the years, I never understood why they couldn't extend the trail on, you know, a couple, four miles, three miles, you know, just keep it going. But uh, I understand it's private property, but uh, it'd be really cool. Like, you know, they, obviously this cut through private property, you know, coming up this trail. And boy, I'd love to get some more video of the river and you know, riding by it. It was just a gorgeous day. But uh, I got to save the battery for getting uh, some stuff. So we're going to go all the way back the way we just came, and uh, I won't take any more video of the downtown, and uh, we'll go and try to get Holland's Mill Dam, I guess, next. And that's a long ways away, so I'll be good and tired by the time I get there. All right, so we're heading on that way, back that way. At the risk of wiping out the battery, I just wanted to kind of show you what, what I'm seeing as I move along the, the trail. Uh, there's not a whole lot to see going back. You know, this is a lot prettier than, than what you're going to see back there. Yeah, once again, I'm, I'm not seeing anybody on this section of the trail. I don't understand why people just kind of do the same portion of the trail. You can kind of see those rapids right there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm just trying to walk up here and get the with the sun right there. Oh, check it out. It's just kind of coming down. All right. So I am going to cut it off this time. And, uh, and we'll try to save enough to get Holland's Mill Dam and then maybe Kemper Station. And, uh, and then I'll be done for the day. Let's get one more look at that sun. I wonder what that looks like on the video. Can't wait to see it. So like I said, we are in Amherst County. I, I was correct. And uh, this is uh, my own personal story here. This is an area that I would hike up to back when my dad, I was trying to get him into assisted living. Now these are, these are samples of Virginia's rocks. You know, they got them numbered one, two, three. We'll go back to that sign as I walk along, but I would come up here and I'd have a picnic right over there on them rocks. And I rarely see anybody in this parking lot, uh, you know, coming down from Amherst, which is kind of weird. And, uh, but I was trying to work like back then, I was trying to get him into assisted living with, and boy, that mutual of Omaha, you don't want a long-term care policy with them. They'd have me on hold for three hours. So I would just sit here and have a picnic on the rock and just wait for the phone to, for them to pick up. But I thought you kind of want to see these rocks and I wanted to tell that little personal story because this kind of had a, an emotional attachment for me to show you this, you know. So here's some, some more rocks. Uh, so a pretty cool little little display that they put together here, I think. I mean, I, you know, let's get back to the sign because it, it does talk about what the rocks are. You know, once again, a view of the bike trail as we're moving along and came, came up that right there. Those are just posted, no trespassing signs, but so we'll get in here. Yeah, you'd think they would have like one, two, three, and four showing you what the rocks are. Maybe on the other side. Let's see if there's anything on the other side of the sun. I didn't really look. Nope, just says the river walk in Amherst County entrance. Okay, that's enough for now. So here we are, Percival's Island Overlook. So that's how you spell it. P-E-R-C-I-V-A-L-S, Percival's. I might have been pronouncing that slightly incorrect, but this is uh, that lookout we couldn't get on the way in. And you can see the fountain. Let's zoom in on that, see if I can. Right there, there's the Lynchburg Fountain in the James River. <laughs> Don't really know the story behind that. Uh, so there's uh, one bridge going into Madison Heights right up there. And, uh, and then if we swing around, you got this bridge right here 
Uh, I think that's 29 uh, south going towards uh, Charlottesville. And, uh, and there's the old Craddock Terry Hotel up on the hill. Boy, I tell you, a lot of history here in Lunchbury. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There we go. All right. So one more shot of the river. Just kind of swing it over just a little bit. All right, moving on. I guess Holland's Mill Dam may be next, or and then we'll shoot on up to Camper Station. Making a whole day out of this, huh? All right, there's a there's a bank building. All the big buildings are the bank buildings. Here, I pulled up to read this a little bit of history about Lynchburg. Luke Jordan, he was a blues pioneer here in Lynchburg. Uh, I guess you can read it for yourself. I haven't really I mean of course you know you would think we'd be taught this in school I'd never heard of the guy until I saw the sign you know in, in Lynchburg and we should be celebrating these our history here in Lynchburg uh, especially in the schools and you won't get to see uh, the, the fort I never even got a tour of that and my sky school was just down the road so anyway let's uh this is a bike shop boy I tell you has he got a strategic location or what so if you came to Lynchburg you can just park right here next to Percival if you just search on that and there's free parking here this is only free parking i don't know why it's paid parking down this way and uh, that's why I, I parked way up on the trail um and uh, it looks like a lot of these are apartments i'm not sure i'd say you could like i said they're renovating all the downtown and uh let's see yeah this is just the same thing on this side all right let's keep on going so just to show you where we are if you wanted to search on your phone to find the hollands mill park here in lunchbury you're looking at 1711 Hollins Mill Road. So, and uh, there's a guy down there fishing. So, it's a catch and release. So, I guess he had asked him, I said, You catch fishing here? He goes, I hope so. I don't think he understood the question. But anyway, so we'll just continue on. Uh, man, I've had my dog here and had him drinking out of that water fountain right there. And uh, so, there she is just studying. Boy, I tell you, what a great place to pull up a laptop and just study I used to do that when I was writing my book I'd go up into the forest in Michigan and uh, I would just sit at a picnic table and, and write my book all right so next video is gonna be when I'm pretty winded all right so here we are just above Hollows Mill Dam uh, this is Ivy Creek just kind of flowing along just to give you the background when I was a kid you know Lynchburg's an old city and back then you know they, they've been working on the sewer system here for many years but this, this creek used to, used to just reek because the raw sewage that would be dumped into it. That's just back in the 70s. So it's cleaned up quite a bit. In fact, people are in here fishing. I bet I'm sure the fish were dead back then. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's kind of like when the Detroit River caught on fire, you know. I mean, it was the same thing here. Everything was so polluted. Uh, and there's still raw sewage that goes in there. They're, I mean, I can't believe it. They, you'd think that they would be far enough along, but when... When they get some flooding around here, the, the overflow goes into the, the creek here. So we're going to go down and get the uh, get the dam. Just want to kind of show you, you know, down here. Boy, I'm losing daylight. I think I'm going to get Camper Station in. Uh, but anyway, you just kind of look at the the view here. Isn't this beautiful? So, and this is a little parking area. Now, this is where I was going to park, but that road was closed when I came in. So maybe they've opened it up. Um, so... Let's go on down. You know, what a great place to come and have a picnic, too. Look at her. She's working on her laptop, you know, just enjoying the, the sound of the water rushing over the dam. And uh, let's get on down there. All right. So here we are at the lower portion of the dam. You know, a sad statement here. I, I'm from Lynchburg. Grew up here, and I could not give you the history behind this dam. I don't know why it was put here. I, maybe for power, I guess, once upon a time. But, I don't, they didn't teach that in school, I can tell you that. I mean, you'd think that we'd learn about all these things in this bird. Now, we're going to walk on down here just a little ways. So this is the bike trail. This is why I didn't take that lower fork, which is what we're on right now. We're on the lower fork. Um, and uh, so you can see, see, if I tried to ride my bike through there, that'd be pretty dangerous. You know, this is all flooded out. And it floods quite often. I don't know why they don't, uh, you know, just raise that up a bit. Now, what you can do is you can just go up onto this road and go along the road and then you get the trail on the other side so it's not a big deal that this is flooded out actually why they don't want to spend the money now once upon a time there was talk of putting a uh, plaque here for my father you know because once again you know he, his administration the recreation department put put this in on his his watch but here's a little 
another view of the dam. Ah, oh, just beautiful. And there's the sun just kind of peeking over the trees. So, boy, I got an all uphill. Well, I came down a big, big hill. Let's see if this old pool can get up. <laughs> I won't get that heart rate up on the way back, I can tell you that right now. So, we'll get moving on. I just, one more view of right here. And then it just kind of goes on through. Oh, look at that pipe there. That's just busted. I wonder. I hope that's not sewage. Who knows, you know? But, uh, all right. Here we go. All right, we're going to do that one-handed thing again. Just going to show you what I'm seeing here. Isn't that beautiful? This is that lower track of the, just up from Hollands Mill Dam. So, just kind of cruising along here. So, isn't that beautiful? Woohoo! All right, so it just kind of loops on around. Now, right over there is where it's going to go uphill big time. So I'm going to put this phone away here in just a minute. But uh, just kind of cruising on. All right. All right, isn't that beautiful? Man, I tell you, what a day, what a day. All right. All right, so here we are on the other side of the railroad bridge that I showed you. Um, the trail, the bike trail is right over there. Uh, and of course you go down and loop around and come back up. Uh, just a little story, this is a place where I would, uh, when I, back when, I would come down quite often to try to get my dad taken care of and, um, and you know, you don't need to hear that whole story, but, uh, so this is, I would, what i do is back then I, I would uh, put a bunch of beers in my backpack and I would come right here and I'd just sit and, you know, after a long hike and uh, like I showed you back there, I would hike all the way up that trail and, uh, and then I would just come up in here and maybe have a picnic on this rock right here. And uh, so this is a, kind of a, a nostalgic place for me, you know, just looking at the, the bridge. I mean, you know, it is kind of when you, when you look, oh, by the way, I met a young lady, uh, she was a um, Liberty Law student and she verified my story that, yeah, there's, there's been people hiking this thing that they got knocked off by the train and killed them, you know. But here's just kind of get a look at the, the creek down there. And she come over here on the edge and, Boy, I used to hang out right here and just have a beer and just walk out onto this little concrete thing here. Yeah. Back then I was a little braver than I am now. And I just sit here and just enjoy beer because, you know, I just kind of enjoy the view of the day. So anyway, let's uh, let's whip on around. So I did make it up that hill. Hey, hey, that's why I stopped here. Because <laughs> I, was, I was panting away. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, so here we're going up. This is uphill all the way. We're going up to Camper Station. Uh, so that'll be the next stop. And that's where we came from. So let's keep on going. All right, so if you took the train to Lynchburg, this is what you'd see getting off the train. This is Camper, this is a really modern train station, you know. They rebuilt this not too long ago. I'm trying to, I'm hanging my hands over a fence and you know I'm only a foot tall, so it's not that easy to, Get it. So there's a, you know, that's kind of the boarding area. There's the platform right down there, and the train tracks go on back that way. That's then going on down to that bridge that we were at. So and you can see there's a bus right there. So pretty cool, huh? So we're gonna we're gonna whip on around, and I'm gonna get on the other side, and I'll show you the the other side of the train station, and that'll be it for today. I think you've seen. Just about, look, what are what them carts are down there. I guess that's just for decoration, huh? Pretty cool. And uh, that's Amtrak, there you go. All right, so let's go on around. So here's where I came in. Little park here right beside the train station. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, here's a, just kind of welcome to your neighborhood park, you know, a little sign. Now here we're gonna get some shocking video. Look at this. See, this is the voting area. What are, what are we, October? I guess it's since 11th somewhere. Look at all those people lined up to vote early here in uh, the Democratic State, you know, Lynch, Lynchburg. I, you know, I brought my mom over here. And, and by the way, I think it's pretty cool. They're allowing them to go in, and it's just like voting in person, except they're voting early. And uh, but here's the here's also more of the station, which is pretty cool, uh, you know. Um, but isn't this isn't this nice and modern? But I just really shocked at how many people are voting. And it's late in the day here, so it's, I bet it's been like that all day. So hell, by the time November gets here, nobody in Virginia's, everybody's going to have already voted. So I don't know. 
They're kind of bunched up there. You'd think they'd be taking some social distance in a, in a democratic state, but they do all have masks on, so that's good. Um, all right. So look, I'm going to whip around to the other side of the station. We'll get some video there. So this is, this is how I got my mom to vote. So they do curbside. So I had to go in. I got them to bring the ballot out to the car, and then they let her vote. So that was cool. So you can kind of see it's an active spot here, camper station. There's all the buses coming in. Bus Lynchburg Transit. This is the transfer station right here. All completely new. You know, they really did a good job rebuilding all of this. And uh, if we swing around, here's the here's the loading platform for the train. Just kind of looking at it from the other side. And then here's the line going in to vote. So I dare say by November 3rd, everybody in Virginia will have voted ahead of time. And uh, but they're doing it right. It seems to me um, they're not they're doing that mail-in ballot. It looks like. Well, I mean, they are. You can do it that way, but I think most people are coming down here to make sure their vote gets counted and stand in line and do it do it the way that I'm going to do it, um, for sure. So, all right, and then uh, there's a, see that facility there? We came up on the bike just right across there, and uh, that's the way we'll be going back, and that's the, um, the actual, a lot of Lynchburg equipment for maintaining the cities, maintain right down there. So, all right, let's get going. So as I travel, I do like to contrast uh, Democratic states versus Republican states. You know, you see these everywhere. Police stay home, uh, you know, wear a mask. Uh, you know, if you came through, uh, here's another look at the buses. Came through like uh, Tennessee, <laughs> you ain't gonna see nothing like that. You know, or uh, even Alabama, of course. But I was in the rural area, so maybe uh, the cities might be different there. I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, let's keep on going. So I kind of wanted to get this. This was all part of that sewer project and man everything in here was completely tore up and so you can tell they did a great job putting it all back together and I mean but you wouldn't you couldn't even drive down this road here was so that was a massive project we're coming up this is the beginning of the bike trail right here just up from camper station and that's where we're heading so but uh, you know it's uh, it was kind of wild because, you know, I got to see it at kind of like a, a speed video because I would come back to Lynchburg to visit my folks from Michigan about every, you know, sport, uh, about every four months or so. And, and then I'd come up here and they'd be a little further along and then I'd come up here and they'd be a little further along. So that's, uh, I guess they finally finished this section anyway. All right, heading on. Gonna get one more one hand video just because of the sun, where the sun's coming in. I'm not gonna worry about these people, all right. Yeah, I guess I better. Hold on. All right, I'm back. So that's what I was talking about, that other section of the trail, nobody, but man, this section is just huge numbers of people. Okay, another person come. All right, that's the first sham for 2D I've had. People aren't behind me, in front of me, and everywhere else. Uh, we're coming up on the car, and then we're going to get a selfie, and that'll be it for today. All right. So you kind of see these rock formations we're going through. There's a bunch back there that were really a lot better, but I just couldn't get them. And, uh, oh well. So we're just about there. So <laughs> I just made a whole video and uh, I have my hand in front of the camera the whole time like an idiot. That's why I'm a video idiot. But um, anyway, it's a beautiful day, huh? Perfect day. I'm glad that uh, we finished up. Got to see a little more Lynchburg. Um, sorry I didn't get to get to see more of it with you. Uh, tomorrow we're heading out, heading up into the Cherokee Forest. Should be cool. I'm um, looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully get some good fishing in. Should be some trout in there. A lot of people in the park today. Um, I guess uh, I was gonna film driving out of here, cause, uh, but we kind of got that the other day and so I'm not gonna worry about it, but I'll swing around here. Hold on, let's take it. Try not to get my hand in front of the camera. But you can see the parking area is a little small. And it goes up into that neighborhood, and if you weren't from Lynchburg, you would never find this place to park your car. A lot of people on the trail. And uh, so that's it. Uh, we'll see you in uh, Tennessee in the Cherokee Forest. That'll be next.